everybody. Welcome just in time for our next pin video. Come on in. Let's go. Six thirty five PM. Ninety degrees outside. Action. It's time for a new fountain pen gig. Are you ready? Here we go. I'm going to be talking about a fountain pen. I'm sure that we all know very well. But for those new people that are coming in the fountain pen world, here's one that if you can get your hands on one, grab it. It's called the Twisby 700. This pen was loaned to me by a buddy of mine, Bill Manning. Peace. Thank you, Bill. Now let me show you this beautiful fountain pen. I am totally in love with this fountain pen. So, here we go. Twisby 700. Beautiful blue. It's a demonstration pen, demonstrator. It's got that beautiful blue look. It's just a good looking fountain pen. Is it not? Feast your eyes on this Twisby 700. I like the clip, how the clip looks, and the, the color of the clip. Almost like a matte finish. Kind of reminds me of a, of a look on the uh, iPhone, kind of silver, silver gray. And uh, on the top, you have your Twisby logo. The clip is springy, but uh, easy to get in out of your pocket and be safely clipped away in the pocket. So, look at the band right here. Nicely done and work done by Twisby. And on the back, VAC 700, Taiwan. And then your barrel on down to the end. So, a little bit about the measurements on this pen. The length of this pen, just like it sits right here, cap. 147.7 millimeters or 5.8 inches. The widest point of the cap. 14.6 millimeters or 5.8 inches. And the widest point of the barrel is going to be one uh, is going to be 14.3 millimeters or 0.56 inches. 1.1 1 .1 millimeter nib. Okay? Now, for those who are interested, does it post? Well, yes it does. And that would be up to the individual if they wanted to post it or not. But it feels fine in the hand, just like it sits here. Well, you're probably thinking, well, if you cap post a pin like this and you turn your cap, is that going to turn the piston? Because we've seen it so many times. Well, I'm turning the cap right now and the piston's not moving. So now I take it off and now the piston is not moving. Because why? Because that's why. 
There it goes. Boom. And then of course you just close it back up. So yeah, you can you can uh, post the pin if you feel like it, and uh, that would be kind of cool to do. And there is some ink in it that uh, I have put in to kind of pre-test it. And I'm going to ink it up to show more of this pen and tell you more about this nib. Okay? So I'll be right back. Let me go ahead and fill this little precious jewel up. Okay, first of all, the ink I'm using today is the... Organic Studio Nitrogen Royal Blue, which I picked up at Venice Pins, and uh, Miss Anna was there uh, helping out, working, so I got to meet her. And real quick, I want to show you what the ink looks like on the color rings right here. And if you do this back and forth, you can see that real pretty red sheen. It's really a great looking ink. I totally love this ink. Looking really nice. And let me show you what it looks on the life paper right here. Again, you can see that beautiful red sheen coming out. Just a nice looking ink. All right. Now, the nib is a 1.1 millimeter Frisbee nib. But, this is a different nib. Tighten that up here. Uh, the nib, it's a Twisby nib, but uh, it's, it's now been grounded to be a standard italic nib. So, standard italic cut nib so that's what's going on with the nib and I believe the gentleman that did this Bill was saying was uh, Mr. Pendleton Brown alright so this is the pen they don't uh, sell them anymore you can uh, find them on eBay this color I've seen two or three on eBay. Uh, some you can find with a 1.5 nib. You can even buy the, the nib separate if you want. Um, some come with three different size nibs. I believe extra fine, no, I believe fine, medium, and broad. And there's a few with uh, the 1.1 millimeter, but the blue is uh, kind of rare and hard to find. At least for me, uh, while looking on the eBay for one. But is this not for real? Just a gorgeous knockout dynamite color of a fountain pen. Not only it's a great looking fountain pen, but it's a great writer. It's a Twisby. So, here's the bottle real quick where the ink comes in. So if you're looking for a cool looking ink, you might want to check this out. So what do you say we do some writing and see how this pen flows? All righty. Look at that lay down. has a real nice flow.
I like the uh, line vibrations that it does give. It's kind of nice. Just call me Mr. Snurf. Check it out. Love the color. That's okay. Hands can be washed, right? So some quick writing. No problem. The flow is nice, steady, juicy, wet nib. I really like that. You can have a lot of fun with this nib. Now, I'll show you, because I do have it handy, the uh, other nib. And this is a fine, so we're going to take this off, and it's really simple. Now remember, this pen is inked up, so you have to hold it right there, and un just unscrews this little jewel. Okay, now, here is the fine nib that I just put in, and show you what that looks like. Right, it's nice and smooth. It got some wetness there. And we'll check out the wetness and make sure, see what it lays down. It's not wet by no means, but then it's not real dry as well. Some fast writing. S's here. Upside down. You can get some uh, uh, upside down writing, but not very well. You kind of see it kind of just runs dry finally. So, but it writes fine, just like it's made to write. It writes very well. Right now, we'll go back to the italic nib. Okay, what I like about these demonstrator pens, I like to see that ink 
going back and forth. And for me, I don't usually fill my pen up all the way up because I like to change my inks out a lot. So I would probably do about half of this. But uh, this is fine. Since I do a lot of writing, uh, I could entertain a, a pen fill like this. It wouldn't be a problem. And back for a little bit more writing, just because it's fun. Here we go. That is so nice and wet. Very nice. Let's check for wetness. Laying down the ink. Wet. And wet. So, now look at this ink. While we're at it, we'll talk about the ink as well. You see that really great looking red sheen? <coughs> Excuse me, that's coming out in it. I can see it right now. It just looks really nice. Nice looking ink. In my opinion, I think it is. Well, there you have it. This, my friends, is the Twisby 700 that uh, has been discontinued. And uh, they do have the uh, new one that replaced it, I believe, what, 700R? And they have the uh, Mini, Mini All plus the, uh, I believe it's the what, plastic that they have. But, uh, oh, the 580, can't forget that one. I have the 580 and the Echo, forgive me. So there's the Echo, the 580, and then the, the new 700R, and I believe the classic. Those, those four that are out. Uh, but, this is really a, just a beautiful fountain pen. And this is my favorite color of fountain pens. And I like it where you can see everything on the inside. You can see the nib, the grip. You can see the ink squirt flushing around back and forth. And it fits well in my hands. The grip, I can grip it right here. And this is how I write from right here. Just like, it feels fine. Uh, there, the barrel, there is a slight step down, but it's smooth, not sharp. So some people tend to hold their pen up here. So, you know, that won't be a problem. So, there you have it. The Twisby 700. People, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this review on the uh, Twisby 700. I know I really like this pen. One day, God willing, I hope to get one of these pens. 1.1 for me, and uh, looking at the 1.5 as well. I like to check those out. Plus, I need to get a medium. I already have a 1.1. I have the broad, and I think I have the fine. But uh, that's going to wrap this uh, episode up. So. Drop your comments below. Tell me what you think. Do you own one of these jewels? Love to hear your comments. Tell me what you think about the ink. And with that, I bid you peace, love, farewell, and remember, don't text and drive. Later, folks.